That's so gross. <laughs> Woo! Does that work? Would that actually work? I want to try that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god, true. What? You have to try that. I have to try that. This is, oh my goodness. It oh. is an olive oil condom. <laughs> pantyhose anymore? I don't think so. No. <laughs> no. Now in hosiery. That onion is about to rob a bank. You're supposed to be able to keep it for up to six months. Six months is a really long time. I don't know about you, but I don't keep onions in my house for that long. Putting them in the hosiery, what do you I think that is I about? Mean, I actually have no idea. I assume they're clean hose. hose, hose. <laughs> they're not old. At least they're nude. <laughs> I have seen that hack before and I feel like what it's really getting at is keeping the onions spaced out from each other okay. so they're, they're not all together um, and so you can get some air circulation going on. That I can see. I sort of feel like you don't need to keep an onion for six months. Just buy one onion. Buy your onion, use it. If you only use part of it, then put it in the fridge and some saran, use the next, use the rest of it within a couple days. Maybe five max. It starts to get stinky. Pose cannot help with smell. <laughs> Wilted herbs. No, those are just like bad herbs. They've gone bad. What They're just baking happened? They're bad herbs. The idea of that makes sense, but what about the ones that are already kind of black and gross looking? Yeah. If they're already black, I wouldn't go there. I would get rid of them. Yeah. If it was for yeah. decorating your spice jar, five points. For drying out herbs that have already gone bad, not so great. I feel like maybe if you have a ton of herbs and you have no other use for them, mm -hmm. then dry them out. But if they're already going black, it's time to throw it out. When in doubt, throw it out. What? You have to try that. I have to try that. This is my dream come true. No bake. Cookie. No bake cookies? Ooh. Oh. So if that actually worked, I want to try that. I definitely want to try that. If that works, I mean, granted, now I have to clean my really heavy cast iron pan. I'll heat up the pan and smush the cookie, you clean the pan. No. <laughs> no, thank you. I think we should shoot out who's going to clean the skillet when we're done. <laughs> Two out of three? No, <laughs> not a chance. Here it goes. Oh. How long do you think? Uh, I'd give it a good 45 seconds. I just pulled that out of thin air. I, I, it's a flat cookie. I'm gonna lift, I'm lifting. Whoa. Well? Do you wanna eat that? Um, can we eat it? So the thing is, is that the other side of the cookie is not, it's just gooey. So I think we need a spoon, a couple spoons. I, you know what, it just turns out that so we have a couple forks right here. Um, and I think we're just gonna scrape this <gasps> off the, ooh. So I'd say we have crispy bit on one side, ooey gooey. Like if I didn't put the foil down, we'd be like eating this off the counter. Yeah, it'd be a mess. And if you still have formica, it'd be melted. Mm. I don't hate it. <laughs> but is it worth doing that? No. I don't I don't think it's worth doing that. Oh. Does that work? The only thing that gives me pause is your grip. Like I'm afraid you're cutting um, something with a sharp knife. 
and well, yeah. you're gripping it with a plastic bag. Then you kind of have like a plastic bag claw. Yeah. It's not probably so, the safest thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I am speechless. So a here's knife. the deal. Jalapenos are spicy. It's the meaning like they feel spicy, they can make your hands burn. It's the inside of the jalapeno. Don't touch it, just don't touch it. But putting a knife through a bag just seems absolutely ridiculous. Like you're gonna cut yourself. You will hurt yourself. There's gonna be some pain. Slippy slidiness right there. As our resident wine expert, what do you think? I think that's gonna damage your wine. Ooh, and so not just the not just danger. The inherent danger of heating up glass. <laughs> and glass plus beverage. Plus and heat like, plus who knows cork what's popping happen. out yeah. like crazy. So I just watched a torch open a bottle of wine, which looks really cool. I would not do that at home. Alcohol is flammable, something bad could happen. Just use a corkscrew. And if you don't have a corkscrew, push that shit inside the bottle. <laughs> I was gonna say I'd love to try that. <laughs> um, we're not trying that. <laughs> that is a fire hazard. This is... I'm so, oh my goodness. It is an olive oil condom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, hmm? you know what else you could do? Put your finger over the top of it and then just... Yeah. You or totally get one of those slow pourers for wine. Pop that right on the top of yeah. your olive oil bottle. Maybe just put a clean thumb on it. I, that's sort of what I do. Clean thumb, drizzle. I'm I don't think you need baffled. to... It seems like a waste of good olive oil to go through a rubber <laughs> glove then. Oh, right. It's going to taste like rubber. It's oh, gross. What if it's like coated with powder? Uh, Ew. No. Dental floss to cut cake. We do that. It's our go-to cinnamon roll cutter. Oh. Why, you might ask? Why, Kate? <laughs> <laughs> it's because when you cut down in a knife, you squash the cinnamon rolls, and all the stuff oozes out before uh. you bake it. So with the nice, tidy dental floss or thread, thread also works. Um, it cuts it really nicely. Goat cheese, also a really good mm. one, doesn't stick to your knife. And I feel like I that makes sense. The biggest benefit of this one is that you don't risk squishing the cake. Then you don't get the filling all oozing out of the sides. Oh, I think that's definitely a good idea. Totally String seems mine. nice and easy. Pop it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. And then what? Ooh, it just slides right out. <laughs> Whoa. That is so fake. But I think if it works, that would be amazing. You don't think uh, that actually happened? Uh, no, I, I don't actually know. Wow. Does that work? I don't know. I think we should definitely try it. So the idea is, once you heat it up for two minutes in the microwave, it should just slip right out. Which is kind of an ingenious idea because shucking corn can be really annoying. I'm gonna just take some of this off just to... Yeah, you know, give it a little haircut. Okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna go microwave. Two, two minutes? Two minutes. Smells good. All right, here's the big reveal. Oh yeah. Oh. Like it's just sliding right off. Oh, it's hot though. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, so this is. Woo! I'm uh, gonna say. Okay, I'm that gonna was say the, it's a win. That was human fail. That was mine. Fault. <laughs> I think it's just really hot. Yeah. But I, I think that's definitely a win. Because it's much easier to pull off the silk when it's cooked. And that only took two minutes in the microwave. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'd say that worked. I take it. Yeah. Like us, subscribe to us. Um, tell us if you did any of these at home and whether or not they were fails or just as brilliant as they were here. Um, 
and come back and check us out again. Happy cooking.